And ladies and gentlemen, we are about to get started in the first match solo casted by NBC Ghost. Brought to you by brought to you by Exodus Esports. This will be a match between Hazy Misclick and the Busy Body Booties. The Busy Booties. Ah, yar. Will the game load, matey? The world may never know. Jesus. There we go. We G Stone, brother. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, pretty. All right, so this is actually a different map. <laughs> Alright, so, um, we're gonna have two teams spawning in, one right here, and then one right there. And, uh, quick, kind of, like, nice little, nice little, kind of, nice, nice little scenic shot, you know, get something for Discovery Channel, get something, you know, good and, good and fluid going there. So, as you can see, this, it really does take on the idea of Forge, and that's something that I've always kind of, uh, favored with these, with matches like this, where you'll, you'll have, you know, it's, it's, it's cramped, it's tight, but really, it's pink. And spawning in on the main screen here, we have Captain Bob, or Captain Rob, but it's really Bob Ross in a giant robot form, and uh, Papa Bawa, who we're going to basically just call Team Pink, or Team 2. So, I hope you guys wrote that down, because I'm probably going to be calling them a bunch of different names, too. Now, after switching sides and spawning in on the Kappas, spawning in on the main screen, it is... Pwn for two and a Mott 9001 spawning in as the white commanders, team one or the white team. Both going with the bots and the vehicles, so very good to see out of them. And I believe we have a total of 60 metal on G Stone. Now, G Stone, very beautiful planet. Nice and lava y, lots of destruction and death, but really, air fabbers. And that's that's the name of the game here, kids. Air fabbers, because especially on a map like this, you need to capture those, you know, those those important things. You know, it's it's the it's the islands that matter, and just kind of capturing spots here, spots here, and really spots here. It's gonna be a very it's gonna be very important to make sure that you know just metal control, map awareness, map aggression, and already we see four bots here moving out from the white team to try and just aggress into the pink base, and this should get cleaned up. Um, they might cap, you know, they might get a couple of these fabricators just because it's you know kind of the early game fabricators are still kind of moving around we got pings already coming out here so pink is aware they guys they know they're like we need to take care of this asap tank gonna uh, clean up the two docks that are moving in they do oh they're getting the second second fabricator hype so they do get rid of that second fabricator and at this point we should be seeing yeah. Okay. So he is cap. We're gonna keep. We're gonna just keep an eye on that little island. So the hummingbird does see the uh, expansion, and we do. Um, um, we do see plenty of bombers flying around now, taking care of everything. And I mean everything. Now, what what is the decision from these players? So we do see was this two four. So oh, wait, no, that's five. Five, two, and one. So we've got five bots, two vehicles, and one air. And we see, wow, f holy goodness. Okay, so we have three air, two vehicles, and one bot. So we have almost like a complete flip of the coin here. So we have the white team going for a very strong um, <clears throat> bot presence, while we have the purple, or excuse me, the pink team, colorblindness. Am I right? Uh, the purple team going for a very the pink going for the air. <laughs> Now, I like this decision from the pink. They realize that, okay, white is going to be going mass air. As long as we can keep our air superiority, these bombers are going to get massive destruction. Oh my goodness. Wonderful. These bots just disappear into the sunset. Now, the problem is these bombers need it. Well, they need to stay up or else the anti-air from the docks will get them. And just flying around in these little areas, believe it or not, whenever you have... Um, Air units and or um, kind of quick mobility. Oof, good pickup here from the white team. Um, flying around these kind of these these mountain faces and or uh, bridges, they can if they turn around too quickly, they can actually smack straight into the kind of straight into the hill right there. And it's a little bit awkward, especially when you're the plane and suddenly there's just docks waiting to kill you. So mm, you know it's it's kind of bad, but we do have bombers still kind of doing their thing. Um, one one drifter. Two or three, actually, now. Uh, starting to work their way towards the pink island. So just getting rid of that. And we do see pink still economically leading. Albeit for as long as that will last. 
Doc's now moving in um, against the commander, starting to just kind of keep the pink army just kind of in its base, while I would assume we see some expansion from the white team. Apparently we do not, so... Looks like the white team very happy and content just to sit on 130. They are starting to get a little bit of expansion going, but... Uh, they, they need to kind of work on the stuff up here. It would be very important that they, they take care of that. Now, we do see the hover tanks slowly just kind of nibbling on the island over there. While the, really a big push, I mean this is quite a few units we've got here uh, from the uh, white army starting to make their way towards the pink base. Now, we obviously do see the reinforcements from the pink team gonna just, you know, say hi, introduce each other, probably shoot each other a couple times. And I'm um, I'm kind of feeling the, the the white team here. The whites, yeah, there they go. I was gonna say those dogs need to just get up. Oh, but the flame tank, just getting in there and eating all of the, all of the dogs, just fantastic. Yeah, the dogs. I was I said the dogs because the dogs can easily just kite the flame tanks and the usual just kind of military units or the uh, tanks of the pink army, and they didn't. It it kind of it kind of was like a nice little like double KO there, but I mean, both teams really didn't win, but both teams really didn't lose because it kind of stalled it. The thing is, though, the mass bots from the pink team has it's it's kind of fallen out of kind of fallen out of face. We, uh, tier 2 up, but the let me get back to the bots here real quick because pink has a complete vehicle majority now, so sending you know, uh, what was this, probably about 30 30 docks against 15 tanks. That's going to be a really, f like, even trade. It sounds like that's, you know, that's overwhelming numbers, but in all actuality, you get these bombers that are flying really big air army. You get those guys flying around doing their job. You're going to have a bad time, friend, and it's just going to really, really stink to be uh, white. The thing, though, here's the, here's, the, here's the little window, though. The white team has their tier 2 up. They've got tier 2 ve uh, vehicles up. They've got fabricators going out. And I'm expecting to see probably levelers and other, yeah, levelers and maybe vanguards if they're feeling really cheesy. Um, but one fabricator and then just mass levelers. While the pink team really doesn't have theirs up, it's still only at 64%. Uber shot would be money. Oh my goodness. Fantastic Uber there. Yeah, that, that army is going to just nope right out of there seeing that commander now. If, if white can stop, stall, or delay this uh, tier 2 factory going up, that's, that's all the more power to them, because once they get that, as long as they keep that tier 2 superiority over their opponent, obviously they're just gonna, the white team is just gonna fall apart. Now, they have vehicles, and I think they might have thrown their air army away, because I don't see it anywhere, so they must have attacked it into probably like 5 or 6 turrets, so. Um, wrong, wrong, you know, wrong move there, Batman. Bomber is gonna come in, clean up some more docks, you know, doing their thing. But we do see anti-air, uh, spinners now up for the white team, so, you know, the the air army was good, um, but I don't think they should really be investing too much into it now. What I would like to see this air army do, since they can't, you know, attack the army up front, say forget about it, I don't need you, fly around, don't don't fly into two, two anti-air things, no, that's not what you do, you only have two bombers and they're gone already, not not here, not not here, maybe, maybe over here, where there's only one. <laughs> You know, maybe maybe here where there's none. You know, attack attack places where there isn't anti-air because throwing your bombers away that's just another way to lose. We do see what is this uh, four levelers? I think four levelers just kind of making their way downtown, walking or rolling fast, and they're doom bound. As this com oh this commander does not want to be near these levelers. Levelers are the bane of commanders and once that damage oh this commander he's gonna walk in i think this is just a this is a sacrificial palm because those leveler damage is gonna just rip through him uber shot gets a couple of the cards but boom oh he took out most of his own units oh that's that's painful that's very painful to see so the uh what is this five levels six six levelers now uh starting to eat through the oof, starting to eat through the pink base and i think with that first commander falling uh it's 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 looking very 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 bad. I mean, there's still there's still you know a, a light at the end of the tunnel for Pink if they can make it happen. But sending if you know it's a bad sign when Levelers are having to fight Docs and White's got the Boombots prepped. This is this is a very bad uh, this is a dark day for the Pink Army here. 
economically, the white team has uh, taken the advantage and ironic- Oh no, the boom bots! Oh, the destruction. Goodbye, all the levelers. Uh, hello there, Spark. What are you doing here? You're not sp Spark, you're not supposed to be in this battle. What are you doing here? Well, I think he's going to try and save the, well, levelers from the boom bots, but you need more than one Spark to stop about 30 boom bots. That's just not going to work. The levelers, the two, le the two levelers from earlier are still kind of just doing their job. Hey, it's good day to be a good day to be in the white team, right? The commander's just kind of sitting there thinking about what he's done with his life because it's it's not pretty. He built everything. He had a really good opening. I mean, I liked their opening in the beginning there, but it looked like just the uh, that tier two, that very early tier two control from white was just all that they needed. I mean, I would like to I would like to give the early game advantage. Excuse me, to um, wow, there's there's just. It's just a swarm. Um, I would like to give the early game advantage to the uh, pink team, but it's just they didn't capitalize and secure it enough. I mean, basically, they ran out, staked it, saying, this is mine, you can't have this, and then ran away, leaving the flag there for white just to kind of kick over la later in the match. <laughs> a uh, tier 1 auto turret being built by the commander to try and uh, ward off the levelers. We have a pink coming out, I think, from the pink team saying, guys, it's... It's getting ugly. <laughs> it's, it's getting ugly, man. And uh, the economy is now starting to really take a hit for it. Levelers from the pink team are out, and they are keeping this... Uh, they are keeping the team alive. The problem is there's just... There is a scourge known as the boom bot just kind of scuttling around, just waiting to find the pink team levelers. And, well... I think if pink sees this, they really should just... Sacrificial lamb their bombs their boomer or the bombers into the boom bots. I mean it, The the bombers aren't really gonna do much damage. They're, they're slowly nibbling through these levelers, but what is it? 73 percent 67 percent. I mean they're slowly getting through there But these boom bots man these boom bots are just devastating Prepare for trouble and make it double you've got levelers and boom bots just absolutely everywhere right now And it's just this just bad the last expansion of the pink team is now being destroyed, and I, it's bad. It's it's very bad, guys. It's it's very bad, man. The white team is just hustling. They are just pumping out those levelers. I mean, they are floating on economy, which I never really like to see. But hey, you know, they're they, 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 they got it. They they got it. Forget about it. You know, it's it's over, man. It's what else they gotta do. At this point, I think they might as well just walk the boombots over the commander and just kind of end him. There are some sparks playing vanguard here, but <laughs> levelers versus sparks is, is not pretty. It's just not pretty. We're gonna see another another uh, defense attempt here, or maybe even an assault. I think this might. This looks like it's an assault as these units are trying to move in as one. Leveler's gonna get a pretty nice concave, but the problem is they just don't have the numbers against all of these other levelers that they have to fight. And well, it, that's yeah, that's. That's that's a that's all that's all that that tank wrote, folks. It's burning, it's ugly, and it is not happy. Levelers, the last uh, levelers here from the pink team, slowly just trying to just keep their head above the water, but they're starting to just kind of they're starting to drown right now, guys. A second tier two factory going up because when all else fails, yeah, boom bus finding the commander. Actually, I was gonna say ignoring the commander. Commander taking some really good uber shots, but. Okay, I was gonna say, now they're just being BM. GG well played coming out from both teams, so the manners are out. And the first match from, uh, of this best of three, going to the white team. So congratulations to uh, Pwn for 2 and Mott 9001.